Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Terraria. We're still running. We are going back to the meteorite. Are you gonna let me kill you or what? All right. Yes, we are gonna be going back to the meteorite this time, and I'm gonna be building a little structure there. Now, I should be getting fairly, fairly close. It was somewhere here in the snow biome. Uh, and I'd like to basically build a structure there so I can set my spawn point and if I die I will just appear back there and I won't have to worry too much about Sort of what's you know about having to run all the way back again. I'd like to get some meteorite It's gonna be very important for the future of my playthrough. Whoa, and here it is So let's try and move back a little Let's in fact build one like right here a shelter right here All right now you know what, I was originally thinking I was going to just build it out of stone, but maybe I'll do a, a kind of wood one. Well, let's just do this kind of thing here. I don't really need it that, that thick, but we're going to... Let's just get the slime out of the way here. <laughs> Alright. Forgot I can just sort of hold on to the walls here. Alright, there we go. Uh-oh, slime coming in. There we go. All right, we've closed it off. Add a torch here, and a torch here. Ooh. Need a workbench, definitely. In fact, I should probably build this thing a little bit bigger. Because, you know, in the future I will need something anyway. A, a sort of base along here. A, a rest stop, basically, to drop stuff off. Stuff like that. So maybe I'll make it a little bigger while I'm here. Maybe. The slimes are going to be bothering me, I can already tell. Let me chop down this tree very quickly. We'll make it big enough that I can fit some chests. Maybe a few other things like that in there that I can use. One more. Alright, let's bring it down. Where's my stone? I don't technically need stone since I'm going to be making a door here, so... <laughs> So much for that. Do this. In fact, let's make it an entirely stone floor here. Go all the way. I'm gonna have to make some walls in a minute here. Oh, I'm also probably gonna have to cut down that over tree over there in order to get out. All right, so yeah, sorry I'm taking a little bit of time here, but hey, that's that's what has to happen sometimes. You need to... The calm before the storm, basically. Alright, so I'm gonna throw down a crafting bench here. I'm also going to throw down my bed. Which, I still don't really understand... There we go. Alright, there we go. I still don't really understand beds as far as how... How you... How do you rotate things in this game? Is that even possible? I don't remember. They seem to be sort of randomly rotating themselves, and it's hard for me to know exactly. Boreal wood wall. The boreal forest. I guess, okay. Does that mean I got some other wood? Oh, I did. Yeah, okay. Ah, I hate that. Hate it. Now this is, uh, I've probably talked about it in the past, but this is one of the rules of Terraria. If you want to make a house a house, you need to have a wall in the background. You're basically sealing it off from the elements. That's what constitutes a house. And I, as far as I know, you need that in order to set your spawn point. So that is an important part of building. Hui. What is not an important part of building is doing that, what I do there, and killing my- Ah, again! Luckily, hammers can easily fix that, generally. The problem is it sometimes also does this to your house. <laughs> Which is not ideal. Alright, we good? Did I mess something up here? I think I might have. What did I do? There we go. Alright, we have a house. I believe. Let me see if I can set my spawn point. I can. My spawn point has been set. 
All right, so if I die, I'm good. Now, I would like to... I got the Dryad. All right, I have a new NPC. Awesome. I don't know how I got that, but I did. Oh, there she is right there. Wait. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to live here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, maybe it's kind of cool. <laughs> hey, Dryad, can you help me uh, with these meteorite guys? That would be that would be very cool. All right, so I have a basic house here. I can store some stuff, which I probably will. Some junk, anyway, that I don't really need right now. I'll keep those. I'll keep those. The Dryad is going insane over there. Oh man, that is unfortunate. I almost wish I hadn't done this. Because <laughs> I don't really want the Dryad so far away, but who cares? She's doing her own thing. Let's see what happens here now. Now I can die with impunity. Uh, I don't really have much gold anyway. Hello, Miss Dryad. Come on over here and take a look at these uh, meteorite guys that are causing me some problems. There's another one of my gravestones. Alright, let's do this. Let's mine. Mine like the wind. Mine like we've never mined before. Okay, here they come. Here they come. What? Can I not touch the meteorite? Is that what's happening here? Maybe that is true. Maybe I forgot about that. I could have forgotten about that. Dryad, what really? Like, do you, is this... Okay, you know what? Sure. Penguins! Penguins attacking penguins! No, they're not attacking. Alright, don't touch the meteorite. <laughs> do not touch the meteorite. That is one of your problems, right? So what I should be doing is... Is, well... Basically... I should mine the meteorite. Okay. Keep going. Oh, it tells me that there's a meteorite detected nearby. That's kind of cool. Now... Okay. Oh, be sorry, penguin. Sorry. Didn't mean to. I didn't mean to start the fire. Okay. Don't touch the meteorite. Just mine. Mine like you've never mined before. This is probably a little boring for you guys. Which I didn't think about because it's exciting for me. <laughs> Okay, don't let the meteorite touch you. All right, that's as high as I can go. Let's let's do a little fighting here. In fact, where's my slime guy? Let me get my slime out. That sounds weird. Come here, slime. Go attack. Do you like fire? All right. Now what I need to do is I need to be able to put something down here. Whoa. Okay. Slime, attack. Oh, you can't go through walls. That is unfortunate. Let me dig through here. See how you do on meteorite. Attack! Oh, this guy's great. He's great. All right, I'm going to get a lot of meteorite right now. Uh-oh, touch the meteorite. I touched it. I've defeated my 50th meteor head. Also, I'm on fire, or I was. Okay, so that's really what's doing the damage, is that I can't touch it. And I, I actually knew that, but I totally forgot. So, bad mic. I don't know how much of this stuff I need, but I assume it's a lot, because I remember needing tons of it before. Okay, run. Slime. Alright. I don't know how many I got here, but I would like to have several hundred. I also need to check the recipes, which I unfortunately haven't yet. <laughs> All right, there we go. Things are happening. We are getting meteorite. My slime is doing his worst as well. I think, if I'm not correct, that meteorite are some of the strongest weapons and armor in the game. I could be wrong, though. I can't remember if the... Is the nightmare... What I- the pickaxe I have better than meteorite? I don't know. I'm assuming it's probably not. Alright. Build some more snow over here. I don't know how snow over meteorite is- is a thing, but hey. Physics! Alright, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna keep getting more meteorite. Let's fight. Ow. Ow. I still have 20 snow here. I'm gonna keep building it up. Uh, just to protect myself, basically. I'm gonna mine underneath it, is what my plan is, anyway. Okay, be careful. Snow is unfortunately very easy to break, which gives you a... <laughs> a very simple way to die, if you're not careful. Slime, be ready. Defend me. Oh man, there's a lot coming. Come here. You die. Let's preempt them a little bit here. Alright, I'm getting quite a bit of ore. And I'm excited. I can't believe I got media right now. I'm moving up in the world. Well, I was already moving up in the world quite a bit, but I still have a lot of... Just as far as those of you who don't know much about Terraria, um, what's ahead of me, what I went to one time all the way to the left is a dungeon. And there is a boss there. Oh, what did I just do? Did I just say goodbye to my guide or it's resummon a new one? Uh, anyway, there is a boss there that needs to be defeated. There is a lot of treasure in the dungeon. I'm, you know, in my past Terraria experiences, I haven't fully explored the dungeon as well as I'd like to have. So, you know, that's something that's going to be new for me no matter what. And it's also very... Probably a lot of new stuff in 1.3 anyway in the dungeon. So that's going to be something very interesting. I haven't gone all the way down to what we'll term as hell, the bottom of the map. Um... So those are things I need to do. I also need to find Sky Islands. There are several more bosses. I just killed a hundred of those guys. Nice. There are several more bosses, some of which I'm not even sure I know about, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have to check the wiki for more, but I am, you know, I'm well on my way to becoming a man. <laughs> but I really want rocket boots or featherfall boots or something like that. Those things will help me a lot. I really want them. Alright, I got a ton of meteorite. Okay, be careful. Don't let them knock you into the meteorite. Okay, let's fight. We gotta fight. Man, there's a ton of stuff here. How much meteorite do I actually have? I have 198. That is quite a lot. All right, let's uh, let us build ourselves a little. There we go. Okay, you're gonna fight for me. All right, good. Let's collect this stuff at the top here, and I will leave the bottom stuff for now, and I will have to come back and collect it later. Okay, hold on. Don't knock me off. Can I get over here without dying? Uh oh. Attack! Alright. Okay, I'm very precarious up here, but I am getting more meteorite. I'll try and get most of the stuff up here, and then I'm going to go back to- oh, oh goodness. <laughs> oh no, alright. Well, I should have a decent amount right now. Enough to figure out at least some recipes with them. I will probably have to craft some meteorite bars and stuff like that. Where's my slime? Did my slime die? Looks like he might have. How many? I have over 200 now. So that should be good for me to craft some stuff anyway. And I will probably... Well, I definitely will be heading back here. Could I not... Place torches here? I can. Alright, well, we got ourselves some very interesting things here. Oh, can I craft myself a furnace too? Is that something that can happen? Let me go back to my house here with the Dryad. Dryad, are you alright over here? Man, what are you doing? Whatever you're doing, I want... I wish you were at my house, actually. I would love to have this at my house all the time. You're just wrecking things. Close the door, please. Nope. What's this about me having more bark than bite? <laughs> Not that funny. Can I build myself? I can't. Furnace. Where can I put a furnace in here? Sure, right beside the bed. Why not? It'll keep me warm. Alright, let me see about refining this now. 
Can I make? I can. Meteorite bar is warm to the touch. Oh man, look at that. What does that give me? That gives me... That 200 there. It's gonna give me 73 bars. That's not bad, actually. I could probably use a little more, but not bad. Now the only problem is, when I re hit return home here, it's gonna return me back here. So I don't technically... Hmm. I wonder if I should just mine the rest of the meteorite, or mine a bunch more, while I'm here. Maybe I should, you know. I mean, I'm here. I might as well do it and not have to come back, at least initially anyway. I'd like to have enough... Some, if you look at like a chest plate. A chest plate I think is like 60... Something like 60 bars. So, I have 73. I mean, that's not going to be enough to give me everything. So, let's, let's keep mining a little bit here. I know it's a little boring for you guys. And I'm sorry, but I will keep talking and entertain you, hopefully. <laughs> I'm actually really liking Terraria right now. I've really gotten into it. I initially, like I said before, I was a little like, man, nah, maybe I'll be bored after a while, but you know, there's so many things I haven't experienced before and so many things that I remember that Terraria has a lot of fond memories for me. It was, I don't know. It was kind of the beginning of a new kind of gaming for me, to be honest. And I played Terraria way before I even played Minecraft. I mean, I, I had tried Minecraft, but I'd never really gotten into it, per se. I never played it a huge, huge amount uh, before Terraria actually sort of re-inspired me. The first few times I played Minecraft, I bounced off it hard. I was like, this this game sucks. Like, I, I don't even understand the point. It looked ugly to me. I just, I don't know. I would basically play, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I would basically play survival. And I would die in five minutes, and then I would say, "What? Well, this game is useless." That's basically what would happen. And I just never. Now that I now that I'm playing and I know Minecraft well, I don't understand how how I hated it, but I did. Anyway, Terraria kind of made me love Minecraft. I was like, "What? Is there a way I can play like Terraria first person?" And that would be Minecraft, basically. <laughs> Although you could argue that Terraria has a lot more stuff in it than Minecraft ever did. But, you know, I play Lord of the Rings, which also has a lot of stuff in it. Ooh. Alright, well I've got my I've got myself some more meteorite anyway. And I'm also on fire again as usual. Slime, are you on break up there or something? Get, get this guy. Alright. We got more here. Now, I'm gonna try, because of the way this one is, this is set up here, I can actually go down and dig from the side, mostly, anyway. I won't have to worry quite as much. I can, ah. Yeah, I could, this is a lot easier. Well, initially, anyway. I should be able to get a decent amount of this, and I can always... I can come back. I'd like to leave some here to come back. You know, as sort of a... a memory. <laughs> Almost. Although, if I kill them all, do these these guys stop spawning? Because that's... That would not be that fun. If they did. Slime, doing his job. Nice work. I'm not actually sure. I don't think I've ever entirely cleaned out a meteorite in the past. But I wonder if they stop spawning if I clean them clean it out entirely. I'm not sure I'm gonna test that theory. <laughs> because it will be a lot of work. I'm not sure how many people who actually watch this series play this game. I don't actually get a lot of people, there's a few, but there's not a lot of people suggesting stuff as far as what I should do next or, you know, uh, I get a lot in Minecraft of people giving me suggestions or me private messaging me telling me they should I should do this or do this next or, you know, this is important or this bit of lore. I guess partly because I'm doing Lord of the Rings, there's a lot of people who are very much into Lord of the Rings that know a lot about it, um, aside from the mod, so it's very much... You know, there's a lot of rules to follow that I don't necessarily know. Terraria, there's basically nothing. You just do whatever you want. There's no... 
thousands of years of lore or famous stories to follow you through or to haunt you when you do something wrong. And I'm increasingly more worried about that in Lord of the Rings. The more people that watch... Here's the funny thing. When I first started the series... No, I... Whoa, whoa, I'm on fire. That's the song, right? <laughs> uh... When I first started the series, you know, people weren't giving me a lot of suggestions or anything, so I just did whatever I wanted. And in some ways, there was a lot more freedom to that. Now I'm always thinking more about, am I doing this wrong, or is this faction going to be, a, you know, should, should I be hiring different factions of people and stuff like that? So it's hard to really tell what to do. My phone is ringing. I will have to get this. So we're going to pause the game for one second here. Hopefully, oh man, can I even pause the game? All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to quit the game because my phone was ringing, and by the time I got to my phone, there was no one there. And I have no idea who it was because it was a private number, so probably not that important. Anyway, sorry about that. When my phone, my here's the funny thing, and this is sort of a, you know, almost a statement of technology. I have a home phone, but my phone almost never rings ever. I mean, people, and even my cell phone, basically, people generally will just message me. That's the new the new thing, right? <laughs> you just get messages, you don't actually get a phone call. Yeah, okay, well I've gotten most of the media right here. And I'm gonna head back to my home base and leave the dryad out in the wilderness to fend for herself. Good luck with that. And I'm gonna see what I can do with this. I'm gonna just check. I, I don't really wanna have to build an entire thing out here, so the dryad, she's gonna have to fend for herself out here, at least for now. What is in here? Anything important that I should take back with me? Not particularly. Although I'm not sure I need any of this stuff anyway. That's my cross grave marker. Is that my own? I guess it is, maybe. Alright, whatever. Anyway, Dryad, good luck with everything. I wanted you in my house, but apparently that is not going to work, so... I wonder if, if they die and their house is has been destroyed. Does that... What does that actually do? I mean, do they... Will they respawn in another location? Well, that, that pretty much works. I'm out of stone now. I'm surprised I'm so far out of stone. Like, am I... Is that normal? <laughs> do I always have that little stone? I thought I had, like, thousands of them, but I seem to be running out. Well, I guess I'm going to be building the rest of my elevator soon, so... Did I ever check up this tree? Oh, it's not not much of anything going on. All right, we'll try and do this quick, so I don't make you wait anymore. You've been basically watching me mine meteorite all day. Hopefully, there's a payoff at the end where I can, you know, make some amazing new equipment. Whoa, let's not die here. Hopefully there's another goblin invasion soon so I can get me some rocket boots. I think the only way you can get rocket boots is is in a goblin invasion. I believe. I could be wrong. I know there's another... Um, there might be featherfall boots or there's something... There was. There's several different things um, to allow you to fall safely or fall slowly. Or there's also one that lets you double jump. Which is maybe Cloud in a Bottle? I don't remember any of the what, what, what exactly the names were. There's one that lets you... Basically a Feather Falling one that lets you fall without damage. There are Rocket Boots which propel you up. Uh, there's a Double Jump one. Which is maybe Cloud in a Bottle, I can't remember. But anyway, we are back home and we have an abundance of Meteorite. Another 191. I also got some tin for some reason. Oh, look at this, the meteor... Oh, wait, what? My Crimson Greaves are six, and my meteorite is five. So, the Crimson is actually better than what I have. Boo! Space gun? Uses seven mana. Oh, but I want one. All right, I want one. A hammax! <laughs> I want one of those too! I want my hammax! So does this work? Oh, it's a hundred percent axe power. What is my hurtful gold axe? That's... Uh, whoa, plus 14 damage? 
Seriously? Man, that's a lot of damage, actually. Wow, I didn't realize I had that. I like my ham axe, though. Wow. Meteorite bar I can make, tin bars I can make. What other, what other stuff can I make here? I can make the boreal wooden bow. Meh. So, basically, what I'd be looking at here is armor. A meteor suit. A helmet. A space gun. Done. I want a space gun. Oh, yes. Look at that. What's this? 14. My space gun is 20. It uses how much? 7 mana. How many mana do I have? 140. So what does that give me? 7 mana, basically 20 shots. That's not that good. Well, what are you going to do? I guess. That's too bad. I, I kind of want... I was wishing it was more exciting. <laughs> Although, you know, I really should change this thing. It gives me increased damage, critical strike chance, increased melee and movement speed. It gives me so much, but it's only four. If I went with the Nightmare one with the Crimtain Ore, that gives me a seven defense. This one gives me six. Oh, I also get 7% increased magical damage. Huh. I do like my ham axe thing. I want one, actually. I want one. Ah. Uh, Alright, anyway. So, a hammer and an axe, I guess, are the two things. But I'm not sure if I'm wor working on my house, can I hammer and axe at the same time? Does it do both? I don't really know how that works. Anyway, let me check out my space gun very quickly. Since that's exciting. Come here. Who wants to be the first person to be on the receiving end of a space gun? Should it be a squirrel? I don't really want to kill a squirrel. Let's just shoot it off in the air. Whoa! Ow. Oh man. Okay, that works well. <laughs> and there's all my mana. Okay, I definitely need more stars. Stars are something I need. Alright, we're gonna have to... Spend a couple nights looking for stars and increasing my mana. I'm not sure exactly what my entire, what my mana sort of max is in this game. Maybe it's 200? I don't know. Oh, I like that space gun though. That's definitely, that's better than the pistol as far as I'm concerned anyway. Man, I got so much stuff now. Wow. Alright, well, I got a ton of meteorite, which is... You know, basically what I wanted, although it's slightly disappointing that it's not more powerful than I... As, as powerful as I thought it was. I got some meteor banners too. I'm gonna have a whole entire room full of banners. Anyway guys, I have to go now, but um, when we come back, I don't really know what's next for us. I gotta finish my elevator and I gotta get down to hell, basically. <laughs> I don't really know what else I need to do, except I gotta get my life up as well, which means more exploring. And I have to kill the Brain of Cthulhu. I want to kill it. It's got to die. So I'm going to have to build basically an arena in the corruption. And I'm going to get myself set up for another boss battle. That maybe will happen next. Um, I got to work in my house. There's a ton of stuff going on. Some of which is exciting. Some of which is boring. Anyway, when we come back, we'll sort of see. It'll be a surprise. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Take care, guys, and have yourselves a great day.